Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create Z scores out of variables in your data set. Uh, the reason why I think this is a, an important video to make is because, in my opinion, it's not really obvious how to do that in an automated way in SPSS, even though once you know how to do it, it's very easy to do it. Um, so, to, I'll refresh your memory that a Z score is a standardized variable with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And um, in my case here, in this data set, I've got three variables that I want to standardize to be on the same scale. Uh, the cranial capacity, body height, and risk. So these are obviously on very different scales. And this is cubic centimeters uh, with a different mean, you know, a very different means. This is centimeters uh, in height or uh, yeah, centimeters, and then wrist width, uh, I can't remember, uh, millimeters, 4.5 centimeters, I guess. Um, so I want to be able to standardize these variables so that they have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, and then that allow me to create a composite variable out of these three very different variables in terms of uh, uh, the scale that they're on. They're on the same scale, but they have very different means and standard deviations. So to create a, a Z score easily in, in SPSS. You go into this descript descriptive statistics, descriptives, and I've already got my variables in there because I just had to do it myself. Let me take those out. You have to um, put the three variables that you want to uh, examine, uh, which in this case are actually, I didn't want to look at cranial capacity, I wanted to do it with body height, wrist, and weight. Right, so three variables that have different means and standard deviations. I want to change it so they have all the same means and standard deviations. And I put that into variables. And then it's this thing here. You need to make sure that's checked. Save standardized values as variables. Right, so it's not going to save uh, your current variables into Z scores. It's going to create new Z scores for you, new variables that will be the Z scores. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Just make sure that is checked. That's ve something very easy uh, to not notice, uh, but that's where it is in SPSS. Click OK. It produces the, the means for you. And um, here are my new variables. Uh, they're called, they, they, uh, SPSS simply adds a Z before the variable. So body height has been now changed into Z scores, and it's called Z body height. And uh, SPSS has done that for all three variables. Okay, Z wrist and Z weight. And it also adds uh, labels for you. I don't know if they're ever useful. In my opinion, they're not. Uh, so I would save that. And what is good about uh, transforming your data into Z scores that they have a unit, they have the same means as that, just standard deviations. Then you can create a meaningful composite out of these. And I just did that, but I'm gonna uh, just ignore me here. Uh, okay, so now I've got my Z scored variables, and I want to create uh, a composite out of that. So body size uh, co Z composite. All right, and I'm just literally going to add these three variables together and then divide it by three. Because that's how, um, I think that's frequently why people want to standardize their data into um, variables on a common, common scale, if you will. All right, so now I've created a variable that's called body size com composite, and these are the means instead. This is um, this is the negative 1.36 is that person's body size Z composite. So now I can get an S I can get an idea. Okay, these people are less than the average of zero, and the standard deviation is one. So this person's fairly significantly less than the average on this standardized uh, composite variable of body size indicators. All right, and the same can be said of people who are scoring high. So very. Uh, just very automatically, once you know what a Z score is, you can now interpret the data. I'll end the video here. Thanks for listening.